Hey, what's up guys? Jay's Two Cents here at CES 2015, and we have made our way over to the A Data Suite here at the Venetian. We're gonna take a look at some pretty cool drives. We've got some really cool redundancy backup, thumb drives that have fingerprint, um, it's crazy stuff. So guys, don't go anywhere. Jay's Two Cents here at the A Data booth at Venetian. Hey guys, what we're taking a look here is the SR1010SS Enterprise Solid State here from ADATA. Now, Enterprise Solution is not about how fast the drive is, it's about how stable the drive is and how uh, much uptime you have. Now, what they have demonstrating here is actually a simulated power loss. And what they're showing is that with constant power loss to the drive, you're not actually losing any of the data. And the reason for that is the drive actually has these capacitors that are built into the drive that are delivering a stable amount of backup power so you don't actually lose any of your data. Now, if you're running a home server or an enterprise server or enterprise workstations, that is huge. If you have ever dealt with any sort of a power loss and lost any of your data upon that sudden uh, loss of power to your NAND, that is a very, very amazing feature to see coming on enterprise SSDs. Maybe in the future we'll see this kind of thing coming out to the consumer or mainstream market, but with the Samforce controller on here, the 2581 controller, as well as power loss protection and data encryption, this is actually really, really cool to see. Not to mention it has a read write of over 500 megabytes per second through you know, your standard SATA, SATA 3 6 gigabit per second port. Now obviously there has been a lot of popularity when it comes to man caves, gaming rooms, and things like that. And a lot of people don't actually realize ADATA has an entire line of lighting products. Now what we're looking at here is their RGB LED lights. And what's cool about this is this is actually an RGB light that can be controlled by your smartphone. And with it being RGB, you actually have the full color spectrum. So you could customize the light to be red, purple, yellow, pink, or whatever your mood is for that day. Maybe you're throwing a party in a home, uh, you know, like that home man room, you could actually customize the lighting to be whatever you want by utilizing your smartphone and a simple app. But they also have LED fluorescent tubes, all energy efficient stuff, low temperature, low wattage. And it's actually really cool to see that they're bringing some real nice smart lighting solutions to market as well. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at some of the good stuff. We're gonna look at some of the RAM offerings here from ADATA. Now we've already seen the V1 and the V2. In fact, I've done reviews on the V2 already, but now we're looking at the V3. And what I think is really awesome about this RAM is the fact that it actually gives you the ability uh, to get accent color in your system without having to change out the cooler or specifically buy a RAM that's a specific color already. And you can see here we've got blue, gold, uh, they've got a red and black version already, green, orange. So if you're, if you're doing a custom build or you just want to color match your stuff because you're a little bit crazy like that, like I am, you could just take out these two screws here. The top of the heat sink comes off. You slide in your new color accent, put those screws back in and you're good to go. But what we've also got on display here is their DDR4 3333 megahertz dims that are actually coming out and they're adding gold to the lineup. Currently red is the only color that's available, but they are adding gold. Maybe in the future they'll add more colors too based on popularity and availability of the RAM. But 3,333 megahertz by stock uh, XMP profile, that's gonna be, I mean, DDR4 is just starting to really show its true, true colors and mature into some really fast RAM speeds. But what I showed earlier, or mentioned earlier, is we actually have some really interesting thumb drives here that are all about security. For instance, we have got right here the UE720, it is a fingerprint protected uh, USB 3.0 device. So if you had some really important data that you, know, you, you didn't want recovered by whoever, I guess, and I'll use your imagination, you could actually protect this drive with your thumbprint and nobody could access it without uh, your thumbprint or maybe if they have your thumb, I won't ask. But they also have a Bluetooth protected drive right here, which you would be able to lock and not use the drive unless you had a Bluetooth key or a phone or another Bluetooth device to actually unlock that drive, so that's really cool. Now earlier this week when we took a look at the MSI suite, you saw us talk about USB 3.1 as well as Type-C, which is gonna be the new standard of USB connectors. It's reversible and it actually is, is really, really fast. For instance, we've got the SE700 external uh, SSD RAID 0 device here. Now this is actually giving you through USB 3.1 over 800 megabytes per second read write speed on an external. So as you guys can see, Type-C and USB 3.1 is really turning into a big deal in 2015 on getting faster and faster data read write speeds. So 
And the fact that we've got an external drive here that's already got two SSD NANs, or probably M.2 drives in here, I would assume, in a RAID 0 config. Now, don't quote me on the M.2. I'm just assuming because it's so freaking light. But yeah, this is actually a perfect backup for your important data, giving you very fast read-write speed. And we're going to start seeing more of these Type-C and USB 3.1 connectors in the future. All right, guys, so that has been our coverage here of some of the cool stuff that ADATA is bringing to the mainstream market here in 2015 at CES. As always, guys, thank you for watching our videos. It definitely helps the channel to keep things going. And I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of those who helped contribute towards the fundraiser for this trip. Remember, we didn't take any sort of company sponsorship for this trip. It was entirely sponsored by the viewers, and I definitely want to thank you for that. So like I said before, go into the description, check out some of the other YouTube channels that have helped make this coverage possible. Thanks for watching. Follow on Twitter if you want to see any of the behind the scenes stuff. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next one.